Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. I I want to talk about this whole thing with Steph Curry about reports coming out that Steph Curry could win the MVP no matter what the results of the finals will be. You know, um, I'm just going to keep it 100. I would have a big problem with that one way or another. I don't think Steph Curry should accept any finals MVP in a losing effort, even if he averages 40 points a game. Because at the end of the day, to me, it'll just be another admission by the NBA as well as giving him a final MVP that basically they didn't get it right the first couple of times. And it'll be damn near like a lifetime achievement award instead of a finals MVP. And it would be in a losing effort. And you still would, wouldn't be able to elevate Steph Curry because he wouldn't have got it with a win. He needs to win. I don't think no person on a losing team should get an MVP, no matter how good they play. Just like in the regular season, no matter what sport it is, no person should get a league MVP playing on the losing team. And it happened in baseball before. It might have happened twice in baseball, but I know Andre Dawson, uh, who played for the Chicago Cubs at the time, won uh, MVP, and he was on a losing team. But he still won MVP, just like there's been a couple of times where a dude had won MVP and um, rookie of the year in the same in the same season. I think Fred Lynn did it before. Fred Lynn, he did it. I think Ishiro did it, maybe. I could be wrong. But somebody else done it before too. But Ishiro, to be honest with you, that kinda that kinda was a fluke because or it kind of got an asterisk around it because he had been playing professional baseball overseas. But yeah, um, I just don't think Steph Curry should accept it. I know he w wouldn't sit up there and say, I cannot accept this award. But he could, you know, send it back later on after all the hoopla is over and all the, you know, all the other stuff is over. But like I said, it would be like a lifetime achievement award. And I just think Stephen is too good of a player to, you know, let that happen because it still would, would, it wouldn't elevate his career because you guys already know we judge players by how many championships they won or what they did in their career and how many um, solo achievements they, they uh, received as a player. You know, and Stephen Curry is a two-time league MVP. He's the only unanimous league MVP in history. And this is why it's really important for him to win a finals MVP in a winning effort. If they lose, it really doesn't have any, it doesn't have any real value because they lost. You put up these points, but you still didn't win the finals. So no, I wouldn't accept it. And I hope they don't do that to him because to a certain degree, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Oh, uh, you, you, you know, you, you put up all these numbers, but it wasn't good enough to win. So, no, Stephen Curry should not accept it. That's just my personal opinion. I know people are going to have a lot of different opinions about it. But, you know, that's why we're here. You know, we can have intelligent discussion without, you know, people getting nasty and trying to insult people. You know. Well, we definitely could do this. That's That's just real. We definitely can have this discussion. We can do this without insulting each other and disrespecting each other. But for real, let me know what you think. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.